Welcome, dear listeners, to episode 15 of Oliver the Time Traveller. We're thrilled to have you join us on this extraordinary journey. Let's dive right back into Oliver's world, where he finds himself standing in the doorway of a sunny Hollowbrook, his thoughts still swirling with the incredible experiences he encountered aboard the Flying Dutchman. Basking in the warm embrace of the sun, Oliver embarks on a leisurely walk through the charming streets of Hollowbrook. The cobblestones stretch ahead, inviting him to unravel the intricate threads of his thoughts. His recent encounter with Captain van der Decken has ignited a fierce determination within him, a determination to unravel the mysteries of his own journey and assist the captain in breaking free from his relentless curse. As he wanders, the gentle rustling of leaves and the distant melodies of birds intertwine with Oliver's contemplation. The events of his extraordinary journey play out in his mind, each moment a puzzle piece waiting to find its place. His thoughts weave between the ancient books he carries, the celestial maps that chart cosmic routes, and the intricate manual of the watch, a device with the power to manipulate time itself. Renewed and focused, Oliver recognizes the invaluable resources he possesses. He understands that these artifacts, collected from diverse times and spaces, are not mere trinkets but rather keys to a greater understanding. Each piece contributes to the tapestry of his quest. Returning to the inn, the door creaks open, revealing the room that has become both his sanctuary and his workshop. The table becomes a canvas for his exploration, a canvas adorned with books, maps, and the watch's manual. In the presence of these artifacts, his purpose takes shape. As sunlight dances through the window, casting intricate patterns across the room, Oliver takes his seat. His fingers trace the ancient symbols on the parchment map, his eyes decode the cryptic text, and he immerses himself in the intricate details of the watch's manual. Time seems to bend around him as he dives deeper into the knowledge preserved within these objects. With each moment, his determination solidifies. Oliver realizes that the answers he seeks are not scattered across time, but are concentrated within these artifacts. The path to breaking the curses, both his own and the captain's, is illuminated by his growing understanding. Seated at the inn's table, surrounded by a collection of books, maps, and the watch's manual, Oliver's brow furrows in deep concentration. He closes his eyes, allowing himself to be transported back to that pivotal moment when the watch's power was first unleashed, a moment born from accident and curiosity. In his mind's eye, he vividly recalls the sensation of the watch. He traces the path his index fingers took as they brushed over the intricate lines on the watch's face. It was an unintended discovery, an unexpected key that had unlocked a realm of wonder. He remembers the sensation of the weightlessness, the transition between realms, it's all as vivid as if it happened moments ago. As the watch rests between his fingers, Oliver stands on the precipice of understanding, the intricate ties that bind the watch symbols to the ability to traverse time and space. Seated at the worn table in the comforting embrace of the inn, Oliver's mind fixates on the last two words he had uttered, time and space. They hang in the air like an unspoken promise, a gateway to the mysteries he longs to unravel. With a determined glint in his eyes, he turns his attention to the wooden box that holds the key to those very mysteries, the eight celestial maps. Gently, Oliver opens the lid of the box by using the leaf-shaped key revealing the intricate maps that seem to emit a soft, ethereal glow. They hover in the air around him, suspended by an otherworldly force. Oliver's gaze sweeps over them, his eyes searching for anything that might stand out, any connection that could lead him closer to understanding the enigma of time and space. Each map is a tapestry of stars, planets, and paths that traverse the cosmos. Oliver is thinking as he examines their intricate details, his mind searching for clues that might be hidden within the patterns. He recalls the symbols he's encountered before, the constellations and shapes that have guided him on his journey. His heart races with anticipation as he meticulously studies each map, his mind a canvas upon which he paints the threads of connection. He searches for alignments, for intersections that could reveal the nexus of time and space. The maps radiate with a brilliance that seems to mirror the fire of his curiosity, a fire that burns brighter with every revelation. As Oliver's attention remains fixed on the celestial maps, his focus is suddenly drawn to a captivating arrangement of stars. 
These stars seem to have converged into a formation that resembles an elegant archway, a celestial doorway of sorts. A faint scent of familiarity stirs within Oliver, as if he's glimpsing something he's known before. His hand instinctively extends, and he points toward the radiant archway depicted on the map. To his amazement, as his finger makes contact with the celestial chart, the luminous light emitted by those particular stars intensifies. The room itself seems to bask in a soft, golden radiance, and an inexplicable warmth envelops Oliver, as if the very essence of those stars is reaching out to him. As Oliver's attention continues to traverse the celestial maps, his gaze is suddenly captured by a constellation of stars that seems to bear a remarkable resemblance to a place deeply familiar to him, Hollowbrook. The pattern of stars on the map mimics the layout of his quaint village with uncanny precision. It's as if the night sky has taken a cosmic impression of the village's streets and buildings. Intrigued by this unexpected alignment, Oliver leans in closer, his eyes scrutinizing every detail of the celestial map. The stars have orchestrated themselves in such a way that they reflect the charm and intricacies of Hollowbrook, an earthly locale now mirrored in the vast expanse of the cosmos. A mix of awe and curiosity courses through Oliver's being. His thoughts race, each one a doorway to unraveling the enigmas that the universe has woven. The connection between the celestial map and Hollowbrook acts like a magnetic force, pulling Oliver into its embrace. As Oliver withdraws his hand, a sense of revelation washes over him. As he holds the watch, Oliver's thoughts turn to the map made of parchment, the very one he had carefully extracted from Hugo's book. Yet, as he gazes at the map, another thought flits through his mind like a fleeting shadow, could Hugo's book hold more than just the map? Could there be further secrets concealed within its pages, waiting for him to uncover? The notion sparks a sense of urgency within him, a reminder that the answers he seeks may be scattered across a tapestry of hidden knowledge. As he sits surrounded by his collection of treasures, the room seems to hold its breath, as though the maps are eager to reveal their secrets. With a sense of purpose burning in his heart, Oliver holds the watch in one hand, its cool metal an anchor to the mysteries it contains. In his other hand, he cradles the parchment manual of the watch, its pages filled with symbols and instructions that seem to pulse with hidden knowledge. The weight of these artifacts is not just physical, it's a weight of possibility, of potential, and of the extraordinary journey he's embarked upon. As he gazes around the room, Oliver's attention is drawn to the celestial maps that float around him, a symphony of shining pathways through time and space. They seem to dance in the air, their brilliance a testament to the wonders that lie beyond the realm of the ordinary. Each map is a window into a different cosmic tapestry. The watch, the manual, the maps, they all hold the promise of answers. With the watch's face reflecting the light of the celestial maps, he can't help but see connections forming in his mind's eye. The parchment manual, with its intricate instructions, becomes a bridge between the watch and the celestial maps. Oliver's fingers trace the symbols on the manual's pages, and he finds himself envisioning a journey, a journey that requires not only the watch's touch, but also a deeper understanding of the cosmic pathways that surround him. The room seems to hum with energy, a chorus of possibility that resonates with Oliver's every heartbeat. With the watch and the manual in his hands, he is poised at the crossroads of ancient wisdom and modern curiosity. The celestial maps are like a celestial choir, singing tales of distant stars and uncharted realms. As Oliver's gaze shifts between the celestial maps and the watch in his hands, a realization begins to take shape in his mind. The symbols that adorn the legend of the parchment map, outlining the meanings of various celestial configurations, seem to possess a familiar quality. It's as if they are echoing the very symbols etched onto the face of the watch. His eyes narrow, and he examines the celestial maps more closely. There, on the shimmering sides of the floating maps, he sees them, the same symbols that adorn the watch. It's as if the maps are reflecting the watch's intricate design, their language intertwining with that of the timepiece. As he studies the watch and the maps in tandem, Oliver feels the pieces of the puzzle aligning in his mind. The watch is more than a timekeeping device, it's a conduit, a vessel through which he can navigate the paths of the cosmos. However, as he tries to decipher the mechanism, he finds himself at an impasse. The symbols on the watch remain as they are, nothing happens, their purpose eluding him. 
Frustration tugs at the edges of his determination. He closes the wooden box, and as he does, the celestial maps fade from view, returning to their place within its confines. The room regains its tranquility, the only remnants of the cosmic journey being the lingering echo of possibility in the air. With a sigh, Oliver's attention turns to his own earthly needs. His stomach rumbles, a reminder that sustenance is necessary. He decides to prepare a simple meal, seeking nourishment to fuel his exploration of the mysteries at hand. As he enjoys his meal, his gaze drifts to the book from the room where Hugo was in. He wonders if there's more to this book than what he initially thought. With renewed curiosity, he opens its pages once again, studying the text and illustrations. As he reads through the pages of Hugo's book, he wonders if there are hidden clues, subtle hints that might illuminate his path. His fingers trace the edges of the pages, as if seeking an answer through touch. Putting the book of Hugo aside, Oliver redirects his attention to the simple meal he has prepared. The aroma of the food fills the air, a comforting reminder of the present moment amidst the cosmic enigma that surrounds him. He picks up his utensils, ready to enjoy his meal and gather his thoughts. However, as he takes a bite of his food, his gaze is drawn, almost involuntarily, to the corner of the table. A glint catches his eye, and he looks closer. There, on the cover of the Book of Hugo, is an intricate design, a depiction of the very relic he had found hidden in the wooden box. His heart skips a beat as realization dawns upon him. Oliver opens the Book of Hugo once more, its pages beckoning him with the promise of hidden revelations. As he flips through the familiar text and illustrations, his fingers trace the parchment with a mix of anticipation and curiosity. But then, something catches his eye, a subtle detail he hadn't noticed before. Turning to the last page, he realizes that it's not the end of the book. There, on the inside of the hard back cover, a previously unseen mark awaits his discovery. It's the symbol, the same symbol that adorns the relic he found, and it's etched onto the page as if inviting him to take a closer look. Staring at the mark, Oliver's mind races. The placement, the resemblance to the key, it all seems intentional, like a puzzle piece waiting to be fitted into place. His heart quickens with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. Could this be the clue he's been seeking? Could this be the missing link that connects the relics, the maps, and the watch? With a sense of determination, Oliver carefully takes the leaf-shaped key from his pocket. He examines it closely, comparing its contours to the mark on the book's cover. And there it is, a perfect fit. The key aligns with the symbol on the page, as if it were meant to be inserted into the very heart of the book. Dear listeners, as the day's light gently fades, we leave Oliver immersed in a sea of profound discoveries. The inn's quiet embrace holds his thoughts and treasures, as he navigates the intricate web of maps, manuals, and relics that have woven themselves into his journey. As Oliver contemplates the mysteries that now reside in his hands, we invite you to join us on this extraordinary adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for the unfolding chapters of Oliver the Time Traveler. Your support fuels the magic that propels us through time and space alongside our intrepid hero. Thank you for listening, until next time.